What is good, John? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys, J.I. Squad. So, as you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail, today's upload is the five things that I love about my 2021 Camaro SS 1LE. If you guys have been on the channel, first and foremost, I'm sorry, excuse the wind noise. It is extremely windy in Houston right now. It's windy as hell and it's also cold. But let's get on with the video. So in today's video, basically, like I said, we're doing the five things that I love about this car. Um, and if you guys have been a part of the JI squad for almost four years now, um, this is where I came with Hazel to do the five things I love and the five things I hate about that car, which was my very first Camaro. And now here we are about three to four years later in the 2021, Camaro SS1 LE. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. So coming in hot at number one is just gonna be the overall look of this car, bro. Now the front end, the 2021, 2020 refresh of the 2019 looks way better in my personal opinion. I love that they moved the Chevy bow tie back to the top grill instead of in this little bar piece in the bumper. Because like I said, when I first got this car, that those cars to me personally if they're not black if they're like white or whatever or any other car then uh, any other color than black that bow tie with it being like contrasted in black um the whole strip on the bumper kind of reminded me of the dodge chargers i'm not even gonna lie i'm super stoked that they cleaned that up and got rid of that coming in hot at number two it's gonna have to be the wheels that you get on the car when you get the 1LE. Now, as you guys know, if you guys have been in tune with all of the videos and been keeping up with the vlogs, um, then you guys would know that on Mamba, I had the 1LE M M MRR replica wheels. Um, and I had those in candy apple red. They originally came in in black. These are finished in like a gun metal gray kind of finish. Um, so I ain't even gonna lie. They give the car a very aggressive stance. They just, it goes with the car so well, man. Like, how could you, how could you not like that? Um, so yeah, man, number one is just gonna be the overall look of the car, like I said. However, number two is gonna be the wheels because when we go to the rear, let's go to the rears, man. The rears are hella chunky, so they definitely just help with the stance of that car looking so aggressive. Look at that. Oh my God, that poke. Yes, man, the wheels are insane. Now, coming in hot at number three, um, and this is gonna be controversial for a lot of people. I'm not even gonna lie, man. The little spoiler wing thing that you get when you get the 1LE, it kind of looks like a wicker bill to me personally. That joint is hella hard. Now I know, you know what I'm saying, it's short and it's three piece, so a lot of people are gonna not like it. And a lot of people are gonna have their opinions on it and that's okay. You don't have to buy this car. I did though, because I like it. Um, I'm gonna add the wicker build to it just to make it look a little bit more aggressive and I think that'll set it off completely. Now, while we're back here, we gotta get to number four, man. Number four is gonna be them clear tail lights. Now, as you guys know, with Mamba, I went ahead and did the 6 gen conversion tail lights that were clear. I just feel like the clear slash tinted smoked look looks way more aggressive than having that red as you guys see on the side marker which would be those tail lights on every other car they're just red so i really I, i'm not gonna lie to y'all i really love that they're clear and they're clear if i'm not mistaken on all the ss models um the v6s and the lt1s if i'm not mistaken come in red but every other one comes in that uh clear tinted film um so now while we're back here the last thing the very last thing if I'm not mistaken matter of fact you know what I'm gonna turn this from five things I love to ten things I love because there's so many things I love about this car it's not even funny so let's go ahead and go to number I think number five it's gonna be the active exhaust man I love the active exhaust I love the ability to turn the uh, close the valves and have the car be quiet because if you guys are like me and you have a significant other who is not necessarily a car person but receives Respects what you do with your cars, then you already know how it is, man. You're sitting in the car, got your old lady sitting next to you, and she's 
not nagging at you because she can't hear herself think because all she can hear is your exhaust well the active mpp exhaust allows you to close the valves and have that thing a little bit more quiet there won't be any drone um and she can think about whatever it is that she wants to think about so bad have a conversation with you if she wants to and you can still have your car sounding how you know how you want it to be with just literally the tap of a button now that's enough of the exterior of the car we already covered how the car looks in general we covered the tail lights we covered the wheels and we covered the exhaust now let's go ahead and hop into the interior because i'm trying to tell y'all it's amazing so coming in hot at number six is gonna be the interior man from the crazy ricaro sport racing seats to the red seat belt to the alcantara on the steering wheel to the 200 on the digital dash to the i believe eight inch uh infotainment screen to even all the little gauges and the climate controls literally i love the inside of this car man one thing about me that i literally say so much in almost all of my videos the biggest thing about me is the interior of the car the interior of the car has to be nice because literally that's where you spend all your time the exterior of your car can look good that's great but how many times are you going to be seeing the exterior of your car compared to the interior when you're driving the car you're not seeing the exterior you're seeing the interior so if your interior is dead and it's trashy but your exterior is hella nice who's really benefiting you the driver or the people that are outside watching the car roll you know what i'm saying with that being said i love the interior man the car has apple carplay there's so many things you can do on the digital cluster um it's just it's insane now coming in at number seven if i'm not mistaken again i'm sorry that i'm if i'm going off count coming in at number seven is gonna have to be that beautiful 6.2 motor powered by the 10 speed automatic transmission jesus christ we're well, not powered by but paired by paired with you know what i'm saying honestly y'all the issue that i had with mamba i'm gonna be serious with y'all for a second the issue i had with mamba was the fact that the car was an l99 which basically meant that it wasn't the ls3 that comes in the manual camaro ss's it was the l99 so the motor was just a little bit weaker and also a little bit slower at the end of the day it is what it is the lt1s are absolute dogs they make 466 crank horsepower and 466 crank torque hella torquey car there's your it literally feels like you're always in the power bend thanks to the 10 speed automatic transmission this joint just wants to pull especially in track mode track mode is just a whole different animal i don't know what the hell chevy did with this car but i'm trying to tell y'all it's perfect literally perfect now as you guys can see i got the rotofab cold air in intake on there um, i actually just installed that yesterday if you guys missed that video make sure you go tap in at the end of this video it will pop up so you guys can just click on it and go straight to that video but yeah man that's enough for the engine bay um i know i already said the exhaust right i i, I love having the ability to open and close the valves don't get me wrong but from 2019 through 2021 and i'm assuming up i don't know what it was that chevy did with these cars in the tuning but the downshifts are insane have you ever had a stock car literally backfire and burble like you got a burble tune on it just off of you letting off the gas in any mode i don't think so because i personally have not if you have then bet you're most likely on supercar type level or you've been in a vet it's it's just that simple you know what i'm saying but me personally coming from a camaro and a mustang and a g35 um and a bike and some other stuff you know what i'm saying i've never had any one of those cars or vehicles do anything like that this car is insane on diesel it 
backfires like crazy. And I'm talking about, they're not little quiet gurgles, like kind of like a stock urus. It's like legit, like legit backfires, dude. Like you think this car is catless type deal. So I love, I love, 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 love the pops, man. I believe that was thing number eight. So coming in at number nine, and I know, like I say, a lot of these things are going to be like, kind of you know little things but they're pretty huge to me man i'm just happy that i have brembro brakes again now i do have the 1le camaro ss so i have the six piston brembros in the front and the four piston brembos in the rear and when i say this car stops on a dime i mean bro it's like legit i can be doing a hundred in mexico of course and slam on the brakes and I'm at zero in like 0 0.2 seconds. It's it's crazy. I should definitely, I'll probably do a brake test for you guys um, in an upcoming video. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But I'm trying to tell y'all, these brakes are insane, dude. For real, for real. So with that being said, I believe that was number eight or number nine. Either way I go, I have two more. So with those two, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the front of the car. I know I keep walking around it, man. I'm going to just be honest. I really still cannot believe that this is my car. As you guys are watching right now, um, as I'm filming this video right now, nobody knows about this car except for the people who are in like my close circle. So I haven't even revealed the car yet. Now, as you guys are watching this video, obviously the reveal already was made. But today is literally... Let me get my camera. Today is the 15th. January 15th. I've owned this car for about five days now. I bought this car on Monday. So to me, as I'm shooting this video, this car is still surreal to me. I still can't believe that it's mine. So y'all just, <laughs> y'all are going to have to bear with me the next couple uploads because coming downstairs, um, walking into my garage and seeing this joint is definitely a dream come true and it's definitely surreal to me. So it's going to, it's probably going to feel like this for a while. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. But anyway, now that we're steering back on top man coming in high at number nine is gonna be the headlights and fog lights the dr rails on this car i'm not even gonna lie when the car when they first came out with the refresh on the front end like i said i hated the bow tie being in the bass bar of the well yeah where the bass bar goes on the bumper um but i loved the headlights them joints are just so sinister it has the front end of the car looking hella mean and I gotta be honest, what this reminds me of is like either A, the movie Tron, or B, the video game Halo. More of the video game Halo. There was like one gun in that game that literally was like the out, it was shaped like the outside of the DR rail, this little bar right here. And it, it was, <laughs> it's just a little inside joke back when I used to play video games type shit like as a kid. So if you guys remember Halo, then y'all guys know what I'm talking about. If you don't, just skip over that part. But anyway, yeah, man, I love the headlights on the car. If I'm being honest with you guys, there's literally barely anything that I don't like about my car. Well, at least the one LE. Now there's some things specifically that I don't like about my car, but that's not the, you know what I'm saying? That's not Chevy's fault. It's the dealership's fault trying to fix um, errors that the previous owner made and just cutting corners on them. Uh, if you guys have been in tune with all of the videos, then you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, I'm not going to get into detail with that in this video. It is what it is. I'm not tripping on it. Whatever. But yeah, man, just... I just, I really cannot believe that this is my car, y'all, like, for real. Just walking around this car is hella surreal. Driving this car is hella surreal. Just being in it, getting, getting the looks that this car gets, man, completely stuck. It's just, it's crazy, man. So, yeah, man, I love it. I love everything about it, honestly. I really do. That's, <laughs> that's really it. <laughs> I, I can go, I can go on and on and on about the things that I like about this car, the things that I love about this car, the reason why I bought this car. But I'm just gonna go ahead and close the video right here. Like I said, it's pretty chilly out here. It's not even cold. It's just the wind is hella strong and the wind is hella cold. If if like if it's not windy, then it feels amazing. But since it is windy, whenever that wind hits, oh, it hits, boy. 
Shit. But yeah, man. <laughs> Like I was saying, that's going to actually do it for this video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Turn on those post notifications. Drop a comment in the comment section down below for the kid, man. Let me know what you guys are thinking of Vader so far, man. I love him. I can't wait to get into this build even more. Um, so, yeah, man, y'all just stay tuned because I got some crazy stuff coming for that car, man. With all that being said, though, that's going to actually do it for this video. If you're new to the channel, like I said, smash that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications, drop a comment in the comment section down below, give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.